take you back about 20 years. And this picture you see here is of Wendy Kopp. And Wendy Kopp is the founder of Teach for America. It's a national teaching course. She proposed the idea in her BA thesis as, a, as an undergraduate student. All of you know at what age we do sort of an undergraduate degree, right? About 18 to 21. So she was about 21 when she proposed this idea that there is a problem of good teachers in, in America. And there are many parts of America that do not have good teachers. And of course, when you don't have good teachers, then students don't get good education. And she was talking about high school, middle school, uh, you know, young, young children. We all know as sort of parents, we all also know sort of from experience that is to be the case. I was a new graduate student at Penn State when she was a guest speaker there. I had newly gone to America to study and she was a guest speaker and she shared her leadership journey, including the 2003 book where she chronicles her experience. And I encourage you to read that if, if you're interested. And the Teach for America that she sort of proposed in her BA thesis and then started herself has now spawned similar imitation organizations, similar organizations in many countries around the world. I still remember, it was 20 years ago, I still remember sitting in that auditorium and listening to her speak. I was a nobody back then. I was a graduate student. I was just impressed and deeply impressed and bowled over by her talk, the passion with which she talked about her journey and the enthusiasm with which the audience listened to her that evening. And when I was sort of reflect back on her talk, I think the first lesson sort of leadership L1, one leadership lesson that I got from that talk was when one sees a problem, one takes steps to address it. Now this seems like a very simple thing. And if we have time later, I'll share with you some experiences we had in sort of trying to put this into practice. That when you see a problem, take some step to address it, right? Seems simple. But if you, if you sit back and think about it, it is a very profound sort of thing that she did. She saw, she was at a premier institution, Princeton University is almost like one of the IAMs in, in the US system, it's an Ivy League. She was headed to a good career. She saw a problem that had nothing to do with her, by the way. And she said, she wrote it up in her BA thesis. And when people said, wow, this is interesting. I wish someone would do it. She said, well, I guess that someone is going to be me. 